What is going on, everybody? Welcome back once again here for the first time in a little while. Eddie Soundhead here joining you with a little bit of Beam and G action as we make our return after about two weeks. I went on a little vacation birthday celebration trip to the Daytona 500, came back at a little staycation while I was gone. They went and dropped some NASCAR Gen 6 mods in Beam and G. Now, of course, this came out while I was gone and away from my computer, so we've got a little bit of lost time to make up for but that is fine we're gonna get right into it here at the b sports playground mod for a little ai destruction let's go ahead and get into the action here and at first it was a little hard to control i'm actually in the a card for this one i totally want up the whole field and this one i realized we were on to something you can cause some pretty spectacular wrecks and this is just the beginning of causing a big one here i love me some wreck fest wreck fest will be back soon but we may have unlocked something new here with this one and just laying in the road these AI, they don't know what to do about me all the deal he just comes through smokes me pays the toll with one of his wheels we got things freaking out because this is the replay but look at this we got the 43 coming in hoods up can't see wrecks himself harder than ever and then larson comes through collects a piece to me as well right in the door that had to hurt the 43 has seen better days including right here in this next replay where i'm in the 88 for this one <laughs> we all go sliding for a ride here and it is gonna slide us right into that infield wall for a hell of a ricochet shot sends us flying right back into the line of fire on the track we got wheels flying we got hoods sliding down the track and we got an absolutely toasted race car no allies are going to be found after that one. And here we're doing our cold trickle impression here at Daytona. We give a big old push to Chase Elliott. What does he do with it? He just balls the three for no good reason. Then he comes and slams Bubba. And we're trying to get through four wide. And he just absolutely denies that and is going to wreck seven cars in the process. Chase Elliott, we're going to need an explanation after that one, my guy. That was atrocious. Look at all the carnage after that one. And just when you think it's over, it's never over. Peepaw still in the background. He's going to get a little parting shot from the 43. And it wasn't even his fault. He wasn't the one who did it. That just ain't right. What else ain't right is me trying to clear myself when I am not clear. The cold trickle car is going to go for a ride once again up through the air and into that wall we have met before. But this time, it's a lot less forgiving as we go flying, tumbling down the racetrack once again. That old steel body's got some bounce to it right there as we're going to wind up on our roof followed by Chase Elliott returning to his role as the wrecking ball fully taking out the 43 and look at that all natural blow over on the roof of the five and back on the wheels. These AI are giving themselves blowovers at this point. I'm in this cold trickle car just trying to get through here and we got AI continuing to flip each other over. Is this the greatest game ever assembled? Does Wreckfest finally have something giving it a run for its money? Because look at this. We've got blowover physics. Look how that looks. That is insane. Then we got the 443 again. What, what is going on here? Bubba, do you owe somebody some money or something? Even the grass is trying to take you out. Up and over and onto the banking on the wheels. He's at least pretty good at landing them. But this just keeps happening. And it's becoming a problem here from the front angle now because the action continues up ahead as you see him rolling around in the background. Then we got the 43 and the 8. They can't decide who's supposed to be where, so we'll just all be in the wall. Why not? That sounds like a hell of an idea. But now you've got a problem. Now you're all wrecking. You're off the pace. Your car is all torn up, especially if you're this 8 car. The 9 doesn't look too terribly bad. Maybe you could spin it around and keep going. That should be no problem. Oh, that's right. You took out Bubble Walls earlier, and now he's coming back for revenge. Just absolutely snatches the soul of Chase Elliott. 18 light years after the fact. Commendable, despicable, you be the judge. To me, that's just Beam and G racing. Just like that shot we gave to Cole Trickle. And what's he gonna do? He's gonna wreck us out of the way. And that must have messed up the steering because I got nowhere to go but back to that wall and into an ultimate twister flip down the banking in a series of rolls that I don't know that I've ever seen before. That was extreme and all things considered i think i could walk away from that if i was in there i'd be a little dizzy but this one i might not be walking away from this one so easily that is a wall that we know all too well and that just took us firewall deep i don't think i'm going to be walking anywhere anytime soon after that one to be honest with you i mean we managed to lose a rear wheel on that the entire frame and suspension is shifted the inside is destroyed t's and p's to the driver he wound up wearing the steering wheel as a cup 
Thank goodness they are just disembodied beings and not really physical ones. Either way, switching gears. Now we're in the Kurt Busch 1 car, giving a push of a lifetime to the A. We were figuring out the tandem draft, and these guys said we can figure that out, and in response, they do this. And Austin Dillon goes for the ride of a lifetime. Only thing he figured out is how high he can fly up through the air, skidding around on his roof. More contact with the 48, and that was a fantastic flip a very austin dillon style crash if you will daytona 2015 where are you at didn't quite have the fence strike but look at the air he's gonna get right here launched up in the air by the five car with all the contact we'll look directly out of ad's eyeballs here as everything goes wrong fighting for the lane and you get a hell of a view from up there you could even see the little goodyear star destroyer or whatever that thing is in the sky just skidding around slamming into things Still had time to pack the 48 car even after that wild ride. Now from the roof cam, just to give you an even better view of the chaos up over. You get a pretty good view of the track from up there. He had a better view than some of the seats in the grandstands. There's that last hit on the Ally car. I don't think this car is gonna be able to drive away from that one. But hell, we can barely drive away from the start of this one. We barely get off the line getting away and we get a five car wreck for our troubles, trying to sneak through the middle. And this one's basically a lost cause. So what do we do around here? We got to cause some trouble and we are going to be picking on this 43 car. We've been bullying the other 43 car enough today. So we got to even the playing field, even the score a little bit. And we got some beef. He's coming back and laying the hits on me. But that is going to be enough to at least get him roadblocked in the way. And here comes the pack racing on by Dallin Hart Jr. at 195 miles an hour with nowhere to go. Right into the fuel cell of the 43. And yeah, trying to drive away from that one. I don't think that's quite gonna work for you. As Dale's just carrying his car along. We're gonna back our car up into traffic and see what we can do. Oh my goodness. That was a KO hit right in the seat. That is gonna be all she wrote for this one, ladies and gentlemen. That is gonna be a call for the tarp. We just got buried in the passenger side of our own car right through the door. That's disgusting, like actually atrocious. But what can you do? You gotta get right back on the horse. How about four wide up to the line, trying to rejoin. You just send yourself over and doing a little Mayan Snyder impression, but no fence to be found here. We're gonna skate on our roof. When I saw that Mayan Snyder wreck with my own eyes, I've never seen anything like it until the next day when Harrison Burton flipped too. But you know what I mean? That was crazy. Of course, all that goes down once I show up. You see what I can do out here? My chaotic energy alone inspired all of that. I am convinced, just like this 32 turning himself across the nose of Dale Jr. It gets T-Bone right in the wheel, and that is going to tear a bunch of them up as they are still piling in and sliding around. That is a huge wreck. We got a couple cars looking like they're ready to take the road course down here. Just when you think it's done to add insult to injury, when your own wheel comes back and hits you right in the face, that's just rude. And talk about learning your lesson. We still got cars turning themselves in front of the leaders and other cars and over as the Wood Brothers machine, once again, much like the real 500 efforts, go for a ride, but with a random manufacturer change. Nobody pay attention to that. And here are the Hendrick Mobiles once again getting ready to cost Rick a lot of money and it is getting ugly out here. We got a couple cars flipping. Kurt Busch over the 43, over the pack. And Cole Trickle through the smoke and threw two cars on his lid. Both ends of the car destroyed. Sliding to a stop in the infield. These Gen 6 Camaros are insane. This mod is nuts. And this isn't even the only mod. Someone also took one that looks literally to be just all of the cars from NASCAR Heat 5 and just threw them in Beam NG. Definitely seems to be a bit of a quantity over quality situation, whereas the Cabero mod is just, uh, the crashes are a lot more visually nice. As you can see here, these ones, they get a little weird. Those cars, they deform maybe a little too much, but they look ridiculous and they are wrecked all the same. So that is that. We also have options for other racetracks like this Talladega one that I think is taken from one of the NASCAR Thunder games from back in the day. It definitely wrecks my FPS a little bit. I probably need a new computer pretty soon as it is. Might need to get on build one of those, but my wallet says, owie, as a wheel is flying by our view. 
What a spectacular sight is. We're going to start to wind this thing down with another view of this wreck. Let me know in the comments what you want to see in future installments here. Mods, tracks, suggest anything you'd like. We'll try to make it happen. And thank you, everybody, for watching. As always, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I sure hope you did because this one was a lot of fun to make. It's good to be back. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the next one. Peace.